What's up guys and welcome back to my garage if you're enjoying this series make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already it would be greatly appreciated in the last episode we scooped up this here single cab long bed and it is a very very long boy it's cool it got me excited but it wasn't exactly what i was looking for so today we're hopefully going to scoop up precisely what it is that i was looking for but off camera i did go through this truck i repaired all the rust minus this one spot up here on the cab and i didn't even notice this until I started the recording, but this whole, what would this be, the B pillar technically on the truck is a different color entirely. But it doesn't even matter, dude. It don't matter none whatsoever. Color condition five stars. So we're going to be able to, as we sit right now, we're going to be able to sell this for 16,244 doll hairs, which is pretty solid. Also off camera, I did go through and, and fix the rest of the stuff underneath the vehicle so new transfer case uh new front axle and then new front drive shaft but apart from that it's the same truck that you guys would have seen previously to get us started in our quest for a single cab short bed pick -em up truck i think the first thing we need to do is just sell this but if i remember right we should be able to get more money if we drive this thing down to the big dealership, right? Not not that place just down the road from us, but like in in town, that dealership. So let's let's hop on in her. We'll fire her up and uh, start heading that way. I should also mention now, if you're a Discord member, you would already be aware of this, but this is going to be the first recording in the new office, which is pretty sick. But if you notice a, a little bit different sound from that from the audio for my mic specifically maybe a little bit more echo my acoustic panels haven't arrived yet so there's going to be a, a little bit of that going on but shouldn't be shouldn't be a huge deal we are almost to the big boy dealership though i'm just gonna you know what why don't we do this we're in a truck we can just hop the median dude it don't matter it literally don't matter oh and another thing too here let's park this up really quick uh, a lot of you had suggested, or, or rather recommended, after my previous failed attempt here on the dyno, to just disconnect the transfer case, and then you're golden. It'll be, what, front-wheel drive? Or would that make it rear-wheel drive? Anyways, it would become two-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive, so then we could actually put down some serious numbers here on the dyno. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's head on in here and see, is this the one? Test car for selling. It's the same dollar amount. Oh wait, in order to get like, in order to maximize our profits, don't we have to have it like overall condition five stars as well? Like it needs to be five stars everything. I don't think that I, what in, uh, oh now it's just, it's, over here now. I don't think that I really want to go through the trouble of making this thing like pristine. So I guess we'll just take whatever we can get, which in our case, that's going to be $16,244. There we go. That puts us up to $21,309. And now we've got to catch a cab uh, back to the garage. I got the old wolf wagon out of the paint shop finally too, so we can we can actually drive this thing around again. But something that I noticed is I'm missing both sides of the wagon glass, which is interesting. I, I don't know how I missed that. Also never realized that we got in an accident or I, I don't remember getting in an accident with the wolf wagon, but you can see the, the rear quarter here is pretty squished and then the rear bumper as well. Maybe there's a clip of that in a previous episode. You guys could link that to me on the discord that'd be pretty sick because i seriously have no recollection of of getting into an accident with that but before we immediately go to the junkyard and inevitably purchase a single cab short bed for a, a pretty discounted rate i want to try the dealership over here to see if we could maybe get lucky wait are you serious this just keeps happening to me i'm not mad about it it kind of seems like i'm mad Dude, okay, we've got two single cab, I believe, short bed pickup trucks here. Yeah, B200S, S as in short. This already has the bed on it, but this one has a flatbed, which is kind of sick as well. 
for the build that I have in mind, I don't think the flatbed really fits that. I do think I do think having like a proper bed would be a little bit better for what I'm envisioning. I know I haven't really talked about it much. I did spoiler at the at the previous at the end of the previous episode, but you have to go back and and check that out, I suppose. Okay, so we've still got a V8 in this one. That's good. That's also kind of what I was thinking about getting anyways. 689,000 kilometers, which is whatever this says here on the screen. We're definitely going to want to repaint it pink, although it's part of the 2G color scheme. I don't want a pink truck. I, I really don't want a pink truck, but $10,000. That ain't too bad. How about this? That's got the straight six in it. What do they want for it? 7,300. It's cheaper, but it doesn't start with the bed that I'm looking for, and it doesn't start with the engine that I'm looking for either. So I say we just go ahead, purchase this bad unit right here, dude. I'm, I'm just getting stoked. I'm getting more and more stoked as we uh, as we start to look at these trucks. So we don't we don't have to go to the junkyard after all, which is fantastic news. Also, the interior is red. Okay, I dig that. I really dig that. I don't remember if the headliner should be red as well, or if that was a different color in the in the other truck. But this will work. This will certainly work. Time to find out if it'll actually turn over for us, though. Hopefully we'll have to do, like, very minimal work to this. Almost immediately, but it does have an exhaust leak. So it's going to be pretty loud. I'm just going to upshift to second. And we'll uh, we'll put it into the garage. I would put fuel in it, but I don't know if the tank is rusty or not yet. So we'll have to, we'll have to take a peek at that yet. Let's go third person. So we can actually line this thing up. That looks pretty solid. I'm having this issue where the vehicles when like trying to pull them onto the lift they just sort of slide i'm not sure what that's all about but i've been trying to deal with it as best i can something i'm gonna have to start doing at least for these lifted vehicles like the truck is just kind of prematurely raise the lift that way we can get the uh the hoist arms lined up a little bit better it's time to start inspecting this old girl. Drivetrain actually looks like it's in decent shape. We do have a rusty exhaust pipe right here going, yeah, going all the way back to the rear. So we'll have to address that, but it doesn't seem too terrible. Like, honestly, it's, it's not bad. Definitely seen worse. I think the last truck that we had was, was certainly worse than this, but we've already used half of our budget on just purchasing this truck. So we're going to have to be kind of smart with our money. Some brake lines might need replaced. Uh, that front leaf spring for sure is blown out. But yeah, engine-wise, dude, we're, we're pretty good. Let's start on this one by just removing all four of the wheels. I probably should go down just a, just a little bit here. Make that easier on ourselves. But let's start removing these wheels. And then we'll check brakes first. I always think it's a it's a good idea to check your brakes. You you want to be able to stop, just plain and simple. These tire treads don't look bad, apart from the front right tire. That one's pretty bald, definitely pretty bald. But I, I don't want to worry about that just yet because I'm not too sure I'm even going to be keeping these rims. We might we might go check the store see if they've got something new over there. But. Let's go ahead and remove the brakes so we can kind of inspect those. And we'll go from there. We'll see what else it needs. I already see this inner um, drive shaft or shackle, whatever you want to call that. That looks like it's pretty rusty. Still got some meat on the shoes. At least that side. How's this side looking? Oh yeah, dude, that's plenty. Plenty of stopping power yet. How about the fronts over here? This one good, this one not so good. About the other side, let's flip that over real quick. Um, Those actually look really good. So unfortunately, or wait, we might even have an extra set somewhere. Those are light bulbs. Those are shoes, okay, that's 
good, even though we don't have any shoes that need to be replaced. I could have swore that I had extra brake pads laying around. Well, we'll just buy another set. So this guy is coming out. Let's move that to the side so it doesn't like snap back into position. And then we could we could just clip our face through the wall to throw things away, but it doesn't really work all that well all the time. Now we can grab a new pad out of here. Get that put in the caliper, and we're done. Basically, we do still need a new brake line for over here, I guess. Uh, what about... I didn't look at the rotor whatsoever. Those look fine, too. I'm going to get a new knuckle, a new inner shaft thing for the front axle. Actually, two of those. And then new leaf spring and brake line. But that should, that should about do it for the front. What if instead of replacing the blown out leaf spring in the front, what if we just bought lowering springs right away? I mean, I'm planning on dumping this thing on its nuts anyways, right? Uh, the only trouble is I don't know which one of these is a lowering spring and which one is a uh, lifted spring. It's red or green. I decided to do the smart thing and quick save prior to purchasing both of them. That way we can actually tell which one is which. So red is low, green is lifted or a high spring. So now that we know that, we're going to quit without saving and, and, and come back. Now for the rear. We're definitely going to want a new rear shock absorber right there. Is that just the differential cover? No, that would be... The cover is technically the whole rear axle, isn't it? Wait, how are the axles? That one's fine. That one also fine. So yeah, that must just be the differential itself. We'll just have to buy a new one of those. I'm going to have to take it off though to know what uh, what ratio that thing is. What do we got? It is a 3.8 differential. I think we're going to stick with that for now since that's what it had. But if we seem like we need more gearing, we can obviously, you know, resize that. Not a huge deal. What about the exhaust? We've got right, left. Oh, short. Okay, that's what we need. And it's the left side. That's easy. Now we just gotta finish out our front end here. So we'll get our new half shafts put in there and on this side as well. Perfect. We've got our brand spanking new uh, carrier, I guess you could call this. Oh, these bolts are really hard to get to. Hang on. So you get a crouch and then stand up so you can actually see those. Or bolts. Nuts. Same thing, right? You got, you, you know what I meant. All right, well, we've officially spent nearly an entire day on this single cab short bed, but let's lower her back down to the ground. We'll, sh we'll see how she's sitting. Hopefully, it's not too terrible. Actually, that's really good. Like, it's not dumped, but it's pretty dang solid. I think this front tire... Oh, this is the one that's super bald. I'll air it up anyways. It'll help for a while let's do a quick fluid check on old girl it could use an oil change god i do that every time now it's on the ground it's all dirty and, and gross but oil change for sure how about coolant well it's got some in it that's better than nothing we are gonna have to change the upper and lower radiator hose though so we might end up losing a little bit of fluid oh we've got three jugs dude we're chilling we are chilling okay let's get the wrench then and i'm just gonna loosen up the bolts right here on the thermostat housing or wait we don't have to unscrew the thermostat housing at all that just removes it from the engine all we all we have to do is the one hose clamp on the one side yeah i'm i'm going about this all wrong man so let's get that 
tighten back down. Torque to spec, of course. Okay, so we just need those two hoses. Otherwise, I think we're good. And then oil, obviously, for the for the oil change. Oh, and a filter. Where's the filter at? Is it missing an oil filter? Or is it in the back? There she is, sitting pretty. We're probably going to want to unscrew that, though. Get a new one just because we're doing the maintenance. So oil filter, upper and lower radiator hoses, fluids, obviously. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, flywheel. At some point. Not super important right now, but let's go ahead and take off the oil drain plug right there. We'll just get that set up on the countertop. Oh, yeah. She's a leaking. That's good, though. We, we need that to happen. Okay, oil filter, upper and lower radiator hoses. Something that's interesting about the truck, thus far, if you put in the V8 with the B200, this is all you get for engine components. So if you're looking for V8 parts, just go to all cars and then have fun trying to figure it out. She's still going? She is still going! No way, dude. I took forever in the store, too, just trying to figure out, like, which upper or or lower radiator hose you actually need. I ended up just going with um, the Chad. I just put the Chad in there and, and found the upper and lower radiator hose for that. Is it done? Okay, now it's finally finished. So let's grab our drain plug. Crawl back underneath here. Try to get that screwed back in. Just thumb tight. It's all she needs. Just thumb tight. Grab our oil filter. Same deal. Hand tight on this one. Got him. Done deal. All right, let's lower her back down. And then we can start um, filling fluids. Or wait, first, I don't believe I actually tightened these back down. So let's get that upper radiator hose and the lower. Now we're done. Time for fluids, baby. We've got two quarts in there right now, or... What is it actually? These are two liter jugs, I think. So we've got four liters in the engine right now. I think just two more and we should be good. Or one more quart. Depending on where you're from, it's it's probably different, but it doesn't matter. It's all the same, right? Let's check out that dipstick. See how we're looking. It was like black before. So yeah, that is considerably better. Okay, now we can put the oil fill cap back up on the the cylinder head cover there are we done no 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 coolant 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 i totally forgot well we didn't lose any so let's just top it off well that's interesting after adding in a whole nother jug of the hambro coolant it's less now it shows that we have less for some reason we'll just add another jug there we go there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, fluids are done. Uh, let's hop back in here. Actually, let me move the hoist arms first. Hate to run those things over, dude. Pop a tire. Especially this front right one. It's it's already more bald than I am. But don't you guys worry. I'll be completely bald someday. Just you wait. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hop in. Uh, let's reach through the window. See if we can't pull the handbrake. There we go. And we'll just push it back a couple feet. Oh, yeah, dude, it's this thing. Wait, why are you sliding to the right so far, dude? What the heck? Okay, I'm just noticing that the sill plate over here is a completely different color as well. Um, but this thing's so wide, like the mirrors stick out so much that there's a good chance you're going to get hung up on your, on your two-post lift here. But the other thing that I didn't look at is if our cluster is actually functioning. Well, I... Can't really tell from here. We've got nothing on our alternator up there, slash battery, I guess, and nothing on oil pressure. Fuel gauge is showing empty. This should at least start climbing by now, I would think. So we might have another faulty cluster in this truck as well. Yeah, look at that different colored sill plate. Is this supposed to be bent up like that? What's the other side look like? Oh yeah, I guess it is, okay. New truck. I'm still trying to figure out all the all the curves and, and whatnot of her. $202 for a new cluster, but I'm fairly confident that this one is broken. 
So we'll put that one down over there. Dropping it on the ground probably would have broken it. IRL. Uh, but not here. That just ain't how things work. There we go. We'll get the old one popped out. Get the new one popped in real quick. And let's... Let's check it out. I feel like I'm wasting time. I'm not I'm not trying to waste any time, I promise. Uh, nope. Still don't see anything on alternator or oil pressure. It's fine. Maybe it needed it. But now, let's back up. Put her in reverse Terry. Always forgetting to put that thing back down. Or up. Anyways, we're gonna back up. Fill her up with some fuel. And then tomorrow, we're gonna take old girl out on her maiden voyage see uh see how she runs guess i could have just left her across the street at the gas station we got to head over here early this morning anyways so we can get a little grub get some cornflakes some sweet potato uh I, I almost said fries chips they are definitely potato chips just before we head out, I want to check in and see how much we could get for this thing. Still $10,000. So all the work that we've put in thus far was for nothing. No, actually, we know it's a, it's a very sound vehicle now. It's got all the fluids. Brakes are working fine. So now we can start driving old girl around. I'm going to get my controller out again for this. Just so the steering wheel motion and everything's a bit more smooth. Let's roll, dude. Just see how she see how she works. Turning radius does seem a little bit better than the long bed that we had before this. So that's nice to see. How she how she go with the with the 38 or the the 3.8 differential, you know what I'm saying? Still four speed though, huh? Might have to change that. See if they have any different um, transmissions for this. I mean, she rips. Oddly enough, though, I kind of feel like the long bed we had previously was faster. And that engine was much more broken than this one is. How about a car wash? Even though it's not dirty whatsoever. Doesn't hurt, right? 50 bucks. Don't tempt me with a good time. We'll try to go slow, you know? I really do like this thing, though, already. I I'm not going to lie to you guys. And this is this is basically part one of, of the whole plan that I have for this vehicle. Just you guys wait. This is going to be a real ripper before too long. You know, the flywheel on this is hurt as well, which probably impacts its performance a little bit. Uh, we're gonna leave her running for now. Oh, the stick drift. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit better. Some people would say that short beds aren't very usable, right? It's a shorter bed. What could you possibly put back in there? Well, I'm gonna put it to the test right here, right meow. Uh, we're gonna load this up with all these all these old junk parts. Some of them are junk, others just like the the other leaf springs. You know, we're just not gonna use those because we need this thing dirt nasty low. It does look quite a bit better being a, a little bit more body low like that. But now that we've got her all loaded up, is she squatting? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, my bad. Sorry. With her all loaded down, all weighted down, we're gonna stop by our, our good pal Scapegoat and uh, see if he'll buy some stuff off of us. We've got we've got quite a bit for you today. Anything to say to us? Maybe about a man named hey, Fleetari? Just a friendly bit of advice, bud. Keep your garage locked at night. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally do do that. A hundred percent. Just got a couple more for you here, brother. And this should be the last thing. $45. So if it was broken, it would probably be like, worth a dollar not 45 right that means it was probably okay the entire time is what it is it is what it is i really like this truck i really really like this truck it's it's so much easier to get things in and out of the the bed than it is you know using the wolf wagon to tote stuff around that just that wasn't gonna fly this thing this thing's better sort of 
as a, a stance like VIP style vehicle, this is going to be a much better parts runner for us, I think. But this is phase one. Like I said, phase two, we're going to we're going to start to dive into in the next episode, starting off with the drivetrain. That's the next big project. So having said that, I do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.